Find the flower shop's Floria. Listen, listen. When I sprinkle a wig, the tree just jump. Just sprinkle the wig, the tree just kind of pee on it, and it'll be fine. It'll move out of the way to Jiffy. Okay, wait. So, are you gonna give me the? What? Are, give, give me. Give, give me the. Give me. Give me the. Ah! Fantastic day for a recording session. You know what? I don't mention this often, but shit. There we go. And bop. Anyways, what is up, guys? Welcome back to the next episode of our Pokemon Crystal. Something, 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 chain monologue. What series are we doing again? I don't even know. Is this Battle Revolution? Welcome back. Thank you guys so much for your support. As always, if you guys are enjoying the series, if you guys are enjoying the episode thus far, make sure to go and hit that like button, of course. Check out the previous episode. I don't know. We did something in that episode. But anyways, let me try my control real quick. And let's get straight back into it. So in the previous episode, we left off in National Park. And uh, we're going to go ahead and talk to this chick. Look, check out my bag. You want to steal it? I printed out my favorites from my Pokedex and stuck them on my bag. Oh, that's cute! That's cute. You know what? I respect that. I'm sorry for uh, accusing you of being like just super into theft for whatever reason. My friend keeps a Meryl. I find them very endearing. I wish- Oh, we talked to you in the last episode. She's the one who really, really wants a Meryl and now I feel sorry for her. But anyways, in today's episode, I honestly have no idea what we're going to be doing. Hopefully, we'll be able to get some more encounters. Hopefully, we'll be able to explore the vast open world of Johto. I don't know why I said Johto so weird, but- you know what, man? It's a weird day. Weird day means weird pronunciations. That's why we're here. We have Rich Girl Pie wants to bail. Do you guys remember that one movie called Pie, where it's like the kid and the tiger in a boat for like the entire movie? I, I don't know why, but that movie just really stands out to me. I remember my dad used to be like super, super, super into it when it came out. And I think we watched it like five times or whatever, but that movie just is just kind of ingrained in my mind Simply because of that reason. But anyways, we should probably do a team recap But before we do that, let's go and knock out this Houndoom. Houndoom more like Hound gone! Anyways, I just want to throw out there. I am literally recording this episode The day that it's supposed to go up. So I'm recording it on June 29th. It's currently 4 15 p.m. Technically if I, if I were like hundred percent on schedule the video should be going up in like an hour Guess what's not going up in like an hour? Um, but yeah, anyways, it's probably gonna go up super late tonight, so I'm sorry for the late upload, but Crossing my fingers, hopefully everything goes well. Over these next few days, I really, really, really gotta grind out and, and get back ahead of schedule. I know I've been talking about it for like the past few weeks, trying to get back ahead like where I was before I left for my trips. Uh, but unfortunately, I just haven't had the chance, man. I've also been kind of feeling like a potato lately. I don't know why, but I've just been like in this potato mood where I just live and breathe and consume potatoes. But uh, no, in all seriousness, I've just been not necessarily lazy, but it's been like a combination of lazy and... And just like not in the mood to do anything, which I know just sounds like laziness, but it's not just laziness, all right? It's like laziness, but with like a tinge of almost feeling like a failure, which I know sounds really, really pessimistic. So don't, 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 don't worry about it though. Like I'm good. Everything is fine. Everything is a okay. It's just I've been in one of those like moods, you know. It's just been I don't know. I don't know, man, but I'm here working through it, trying to progress, trying to keep the consistent uploads going for you guys. I'm really, really sorry I missed a day on Wednesday. Instead, uh, I decided to drop our new series, also known as Twitch Bites. So shout out to that. If you guys did miss that, I highly recommend you guys go back and uh, give it a shot. Basically, what I decided to do is I decided to cut up and uh, kind of compress down one of our Twitch live streams. And I'm planning on doing that for like a lot of our live streams moving forward. So... Trainer tips, Pokemon stats vary even within the same species. <gasps> what? <gasps> oh, this sign just enlightened me. I feel like a brand new person. What's up, man? Did we already get an encounter on this route? I feel like this route loops back around, right? Like now we're going to go and see the Sudowoodo and stuff. And I don't know. I feel like we've already been on this route. So maybe, maybe I shouldn't be uh, too worried about getting an encounter. We should probably go over the team. I don't know what I'm doing by not going over the team. But anyways, he's going to send in a Snorlax. That's pretty incredible. I wish I had a Snorlax. Level 13. Hey, my birthday's on February 13th. What a coincidence, man. We're going to go ahead and switch out. 
go into Dave because I feel like that's the smartest move. Also, we might be able to hatch that egg today, which is kind of incredible. Our team is totally becoming flushed out. Like, we're getting to the point to where our team could be taking on armies. Like, our, our team is about to go fight in the Vietnam War. I don't think you guys understand. We're gonna go for the wing attack on the Snorlax. Snorlax does not have the best defense. He's definitely more of a special defensive uh, Pokemon. So we'll go ahead and knock him out real quick. But, um, yeah, outside of that, my day's been really, really good. I've just been chilling. I woke up really, really late today. I tried to wake up early. I've been trying to wake up early for the past few days, but as I said, the potato vibes are coming in, consuming my soul, and I just, man, it's, it's, it's been a struggle, is what it's been. It's like a lazy Sunday, but just the entire summer has been a lazy Sunday. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and stay in. We'll go and knock out this Nidorino with Dave. But, yeah, no, so I'm sorry that I've been like a potato these past few days, but even despite my potato-ness, I think we've, we've still done a really, really great job of uh, keeping the channel going, keeping the channel consistent, been working on a bunch of stuff behind the scenes. I actually uh, Stream Deck, or Elgato, the uh, makers of the little button panel that I use for live streams and such, they just released a new feature where it lets you uh, basically assign multiple actions to one button, and that is so incredibly useful. I'm so excited to uh, show off some of that stuff in a future live stream. I might go live later tonight, actually, or maybe not. I don't know. No promises. There's like a 10% chance I'll go live tonight over on Twitch, uh, but maybe not. Maybe so. I don't know, because I got to spend a good amount of time editing this episode, and I also got to bulk record a lot of stuff, because in about four days, my girlfriend Danny, as well as Ryan, are going to be coming over and staying for about nine days, so that's really, really exciting, I'll probably be pretty busy with them, so even though I'm not, like, leaving and going out of town, them coming in uh, just means that I'm going to be pretty busy, also, we had, like, the 4th of July coming up, and just family's going to be visiting on top of that, so this might turn into a bulk recording session, um, so if you guys see me in this Pepsi shirt for a couple of episodes, then you, you know what's up. But, uh, anyway, Juggler called- She said she misread me! How dare you! Did you even pass kindergarten? How can you not read? Anyways, uh, we'll keep going. I don't know if this is a new route or not. I- I don't think it is. I- man, I really should have written down the, uh, the routes that we had gotten encounters on. I don't know why. Well, actually, I do know why. The reason why I haven't been keeping track of our encounters is because uh, whenever I go to like over to my notepad to write down, it, it mutes the game audio, and that's just super annoying. So like that's why I haven't been keeping track of it. I really should be keeping track of it though, regardless, because I know I'm gonna get mixed up. I know I'm gonna end up making a mistake. It's just bound to happen. Uh, anyways, side note, we still have not gone over the team. I don't know why. <laughs> I genuinely could not tell you why. Let's go into Dave once again. What what a surprise, man. Literally the entirety of this series can be summed up in, let's go into Dave. That's just the catchphrase. That's the motto of this series. I casually just hit this cord. I'm sorry, cord. In case you guys don't know what this cord is, this cord goes up to my studio light, which is lighting my face. Uh, hey, Google, turn off studio light. You see, now my face isn't as lit, but actually the reason why it's still kind of lit is because I have another studio light sitting right on my bed right there. Hashtag behind the scenes. Actually, I could switch the camera. Hold up, but I could show you guys. Yeah, look at this. Okay, so let me just give you guys a behind the scenes casually throughout this episode. The big studio light that's over there, uh, actually the same size, but just perspective. You know, that one's closer to the camera. That one over there is actually on top of my bed aiming down. Then this one is the one that I just turned off that's right here. This one always stays here. The one over there I move. You know, obviously when I want to sleep, I move it off my bed. That one is usually just to light the green screen, but... In this case, it's just adding more light overall. Uh. So yeah, there you go. Behind the scenes with Asteroid. Merry Christmas. Uh, I've actually been looking into doing a another behind the scenes video. In case you guys didn't know, last year, I did a big how I make my videos video as well as a... Um as well as a, uh, a setup tour, I think I did last year, a 2017 setup tour, and I would absolutely love to do another one of those, because so much has changed from when I made those two videos. Uh, I mean, not, not like too much has changed, but just like the software that I use, and just the way I go about things has changed a little bit, so they're not entirely accurate, but I'll go ahead and link both those videos down below, I highly recommend them, uh, and especially with my setup tour, that's one thing that's changed a lot. Like, my setup has gotten major improvements uh, since I made that video. I've actually made two setup tours in the 
the past. I'll link both of them down below. Why not? Uh, just so you guys can like see the progression. But anyways, we're gonna go ahead and go over the team. First up, we got my boy Mr. Big J. This man's towering over his fools. He's like Godzilla up in the field. The whooper, the water and ground type, nice and clean with water gun, tail whip and slam. Next up, we got Dylan, the newest, or is he the newest? I don't know. He's one of the newer additions to the squad. Total dial with scratch, Leah rage and water gun. Next up, we got Samta the Deli Bird with present cross chop and thunder shock. He now has moves to take advantage of, which is super cool. Next up, we got Jam Sky, also known as Peanut Butter Ground, with the Lucky Egg, Horn Attack, Tail Whip, and Stomp. And then last but not least, we have Dave the Aerodactyl with Wing Attack, Agility, Bite, and Super Sonic. You guys already know and love him. And then last but not least, we have the Egg. It says, wonder what's inside. It needs more time, though. All right, just a little bit more time. A little bit more time, man, and we are going to be there. That's super exciting. I'm the Flower Shop's Floria. Listen, listen. When I sprinkle a weekly tree, just jump, just sprinkle the weekly tree. Just kind of pee on it, and it'll be fine. It'll move out of the way to Jiffy. Okay, wait. So, are you gonna give me the? the what? Are, uh, give, give me, give, give me the, give me, give me the. Ah! <laughs> okay. Now we gotta go all the way back to the thing or to the flower shop. I think. I think that's what we gotta do. Man, I have not played Crystal in years. It's been so long. And then Harkos and Silver. I'm pretty sure they changed this. Like, I'm pretty sure they just kind of give you the pail, and that's just it. But I'm assuming we have to go back to the flower shop, right? Because she didn't give us an item. There's no way. She didn't just give us the pill right then and there. We would have saw it. 100%, right? Like, I'm not... Let me let me just check, just to make sure before I run all the way back there. Um, yeah, no, we got to run all the way back there. All right. So anyways, with that all being said, we're like, what, 14 minutes into today's episode? That's kind of nuts. That's kind of nuts. This episode's just been kind of flying by. Uh, but hopefully I can get a lot of episodes recorded today. I want to get like four episodes recorded if I can, which I know sounds like a lot, and it is a lot. Uh, but if I can do that, I'd absolutely love to, just because of the fact that with Ryan and, and Danny being here, uh, I don't really want to be too focused on on recording and working on stuff. Like, we have so many plans that we want to go ahead and do. So long story short, I want to be much more focused on hanging out with them as opposed to, like, making videos and stuff. Uh, we're still going to be live streaming a little bit. Like, I'm pretty sure we're doing the co-op finale at some point when Ryan's here. I don't want to throw out an exact date yet because we haven't entirely had it set in stone. Like, I'm pretty sure we have it set, have it set in stone, but things can change. You never know. Is this the flower shop? What's up? Underground entrance. Okay, that's not a flower shop. Last time I checked, flowers don't grow underground. I mean, actually, some of them do, man. And I mean, I guess if you technically count the roots, then all plants grow underground? Huh. Wow, guess you learn something new every day. Uh, we're gonna exit the premises. This clearly is not a flower shop. I only see, or I only saw a couple of plants in there, and those were not, uh, flowers. What's up? Your playground! Golden Rod City Game Corner. Okay, but that's not what we need! That's not what we need! Hey, where's the flower shop? I got in trouble for playing in the basement of the department store. Well, shoot, now I gotta go there. <laughs> so it's talking about the basement of the department store. Bro, I wanna explore. I wanna explore. Yo, take me to the basement. Take me to the basement, you broken elevator. Which floor? Basement. Let's go. Oh. Oh. Oh, that was a gross noise. Hey, what's up? Hey kid, you're holding us up. Our policy is to work behind the scenes where no one can see us. Yo, I totally forgot there was even a basement down here. Can we get some like experience? I know we're totally like sidetracked from the flower shop right now, but dude, this could actually be pretty uh pretty viable to us right now. Step on the ground's junk. Take it if you want it. Bet! Bet! I'll steal everything! All these crates? They're coming with me! Freaking bet, what's up, dude? I lost my passion for work if someone's else watching. Come on, kid, scoot! Did you just say scoot? I'll scoot if I want to scoot. Whatever, man. You should be able to work under pressure. That's how most people work more efficiently. Pressure is good. Pressure is a good thing. Is this a door? We need a key or something, right? We must need a key or something. That's got to be That's gotta be the movement. You see, I don't remember any of this. I'll be totally honest. Your boy, as I said, as we progress further in the game, uh, my, my knowledge of Johto just slowly and slowly depletes exponentially. So, yeah, I, I'm not a Johto master by any means, and I'll be the first to admit it. Let's go back to flying the, fi flying? Finding the flower shop, if I could speak English. Today's just a big old mess, if I'm being totally honest. Hey, what's up? Is this building the flower shop? Flowers, 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 give me some flowers. If you treat your Pokemon nicely, they would love you. Let me see your whooper, it's quite cute. Oh, thank you. Mr. Brick J does not like to be called cute. He actually despises you now, so... The world is a psychopath. Bike shop. Oh, we can get a 
bike! Give me a bike! Give me a bike, yo, this, this shop is so gray, oh my god. Sorry, I moved here, but I can't sell my bicycles, why is that? Could you ride a bicycle and advertise for me? Of course. Of course, man. Loan me a bicycle, ask to borrow a bicycle. Cool, dude. Yeah, no, I'll, I'll ride it all around. I will, uh, I will advertise. Honestly, I think part of the reason why your bike shop's not selling anything is because, A, it's back in this abandoned corner. You gotta, like, go through 50 billion other houses to get here. And second of all, it's so gray and depressing. Nobody's gonna buy a bike from a place like that. What's up? I know there's a new bike shop, but I can't find it. Yeah, exactly! Exactly, dude! It's back in the middle of nowhere! You're, you're in a really, really bad spot to be selling bikes. If I'm being totally honest here, is this the flower shop? No, this is the game corner. Not game quarter, uh, radio station, right? Do we have to go in here? I don't know what I'm doing, man. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> What's up? Train hasn't come in. I know, I'll carry passengers on my back. <laughs> Dude, this man is the freaking Hulk. This man is the freaking Hulk. Damn. Okay, uh, I know this isn't the flower shop, but I might as well check it again just to see. Just to see if, if something has changed. No, what? I'm totally lost. <laughs> I'm totally lost. Why, man? Why am I lost? All right, let's let's think about this for a second. Flower shop. No, not flower shop. Oh my god. I I might have to look this up. That's embarrassing. That's embarrassing. I call myself the Pokemon. Wait, underground entrance. Hold up. I know we saw the other one over there. Maybe we gotta go in here. We'll go through here and see if it advances the plot. I think you have some rare Pokemon with you. Let me see them. Freaking bet, dude. I mean, I'm sorry to throw out there, but uh. I don't think my party is especially rare. I mean, I know I have an Aerodactyl and stuff, but I mean, I don't know, man. I don't know, man. I wouldn't necessarily call that rare. He has a freaking Houndoom. That's the second Houndoom we've seen today. That is the second Houndoom we've seen today. I'm going to stand with Mr. Big J because I feel like he can handle this. He's going to go for the Ember. I mean, we are five levels above him. There's no reason why I shouldn't be putting my faith in Mr. Big J as well as everyone else on the team. Of course, he's going to get a burn, though. That's kind of unfortunate. Um, but, you know, our levels are actually, like, pretty decent now. So I should be, I should be working on training up some other mons and not just uh, relying on Aerodactyl. I know I've been trying to switch train in these past few episodes, but I should really, really be focusing on that just because of the fact that, you know, obviously Aerodactyl can't, can't entirely carry us to victory. He's gonna come into a roadblock at one point. He's gonna be flying around one day and he'll accidentally hit a window thinking it wasn't there, so, you know, I, I, I don't want to put too much faith in him. I mean, I trust Mr. Aerodactyl, but I don't, he has two Houndooms. Does this man actually send out two Hound? <laughs> Damn! Okay! All right, man. I feel ya. I I respect your your Houndoom taste. <laughs> I respect that. I like Houndoom too. I okay. <laughs> but uh, anyways, yeah. No, I trust Mr. Dave. All right. I would I would put my life in Mr. Dave's hands. But at the end of the day, <laughs> at the end of the Dave. <laughs> At the end of the day, you know, I don't I, I don't know if we can fully tr put our trust in him He's gonna run into an obstacle at one point. Oh my god. This man got another burn. Can you stop? Can you stop getting burns? Seriously, that's that's not cool, man. That's not cool, but get out of your Houndoom That's the third Houndoom we've seen today. Get out of here, man. I mean you tried. It was a solid attempt I respect your dedication Now will we actually be able to make progress today? I don't know I'm gonna head this way and see what's over here. Do you consider type alignments in battle? If you know your type advantages, you'll do better in battle. Wow, that's a really stellar tip. Thank you for letting me know. It's almost as if I haven't been playing Pokemon for like, I don't know, 40 years. He's gonna go for the Doug Trio, okay. All right, man, I can handle the Doug Trio. I've been taking on Doug Trio since I was three years old, dude. Back in, back in Kanto. We're gonna switch out. Go into Dave. Haha, <laughs> surprise. I would switch into someone else. Actually, we could have went to Dylan. This man's only level 7. I don't know what I'm thinking. I don't know what I'm thinking. And Dave's burned. It would have been much smarter to go into... Well, I guess because Dave is the flying type, avoiding the ground type attacks, that's kind of smart. But it would have been pretty smart, like reasonably smart, to go into Dylan and start training him, him up. He's actually going to evolve pretty soon, so that's really, really cool. But there we go. We got some experience. I should really try and heal these burns. Vaporeon. All right, we'll just stay in. Um, I think Dave has this even though we're burned. Now, actually, is flying physical in this game? I think it is. So our wing attack is being weakened here. Maybe it would be better for us to go for the bite because I think dark is special. But, uh, I mean, regardless, Dave is still just one-shotting everybody. What else is new? Metapod! Shout out to Soul Link in case you guys don't know. I'm gonna keep teasing it, but Soul Link is happening. 
So Link is happening, happening, happening. It's going to be freaking, freaking beautiful. I'm so, so pumped for it. It's going to be absolutely ridiculous. Uh, speaking of new series, though, with the whole Twitch Bites thing, thank you guys for your support on Twitch Bites. Uh, it's one of those things where... I think it would be just be like really, really convenient for people who end up missing the live streams to go back and uh, just see like a more compressed version of it because I feel like a lot of people don't have time or a lot of people don't uh, like the prospect of having to watch a full two hour live stream just to get caught up on the stream they may have missed. And I feel like the whole Twitch Bites thing, it works really well for being like kind of edited down, more compressed, uh, more entertaining, and just like a quicker way to get caught up in, as to what you guys miss. So it's less of like a highlight series and more of like just a bite sized version of that live stream, hence the name. So hopefully guys enjoy it. Hopefully guys dig it. I appreciate you guys support on that so far. The door's locked. Come on, man. Are you kidding me? We fought that guy just to see a locked door. I did not sign up for this. What's up, man? Are you gonna like give me something? Welcome to the Pokemon. Oh, oh, that's cool, man. You're gonna give me a haircut. Or wait, wait, no, 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 no. He's just gonna heal me. Or wait, no, he's not. What? This is crazy. Mr. Big J, give him a haircut. Okay, so it's literally just like healing. Okay, that's what I figured. That's what I figured, but that's cool how they can, they can fully heal any specific Pokemon. That's interesting, man. But I'm all done for today. Wait, wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. Did you heal everybody or did you literally just heal? Wait, what? I chose Mr. Big J, but he's not healed. What? Wait, did I not choose Mr. Big J? I kind of swore I did. I'm so confused. I'm so confused. Maybe it just made him happier. Maybe it just increased the happiness. Maybe it wasn't actually a healing thing. That's weird. That's weird. Actually, it could be a happiness because there there could be a happiness thing because there was like the the uh, what's it the the girl in that one house that was like, man, I happiness Pokemon battle with them, you know, like that kind of stuff. Um, so that would make sense. He's gonna send in a hypno though. Yo, look at this man hypnotizing fools. Shout out to, uh, without spoiling it, shout out to The Incredibles 2. Oh my god, dude, that movie was nuts. That movie was actually nuts. I'm not gonna spoil it. I'm not gonna, not gonna say anything too crazy for those of you guys who haven't seen it, but, uh, it was an incredible film, an incredible sequel to an already incredible movie. And especially with the fact that I, like, I, I absolutely loved how it picked up right where the first movie left off. That was actually incredible. Uh, anyways, we're gonna go for the bite. Absolutely annihilate this Hypno. I'm sorry, Hypno. Uh, you're not some secret villain in, a, in an Incredibles film, a Pixar film. Nah, far from it. You're just a low little grunt. A low little, little, little amateur is what you are. Get out of here, Hypno. I'm sorry, man. I'm sorry to say, but you have absolutely been demolished. Hopefully you guys are all having a fantastic day though. Uh, hopefully this is going up on Friday. Cross my fingers, man. I'm, I'm really, really, really hopeful. I'm, I'm praying. I'm praying for the wicked. Shout out to the, the new Panic album. I got booted out of the game co- I- Oh wait. I thought he like hesitated there, but no, it was just like a continuation. Uh, game corner. I was trying to cheat using my Pokemon. How do you cheat using your Pokemon? How do you- How do you cheat in a game corner with your Pokemon? I mean, I guess you could have like- I don't know, like uh, like an Alakazam with that huge IQ, just just guessing all the slots and then hitting the button. I don't know how game corners work. I've never gambled. You think I look 21? Nah, boy. All right, we're gonna go ahead and switch out. Go into Dylan. What else is new? How many times have I said that in today's uh, in today's? Well, not just in today's episode, but just in the entire series in general. I feel like I could make a T-shirt out of that. Like just the shirt. The shirt just says, "Yeah, let's go into Dave." That's just the extent of it. Uh, anyways, that's hidden power. It's super effective, but Dave's taking it to the bank and back. I'm gonna go ahead and heal up real quick, like, just because I don't want to be risking anything. Uh, speaking of, like, shirts and stuff, though, your boy is working on the merch shop. It's happening. I'm gonna be commissioning a lot of designs, uh, in about two days is when the, the artist that I want to commission is gonna be back open, so look out for that. Once I get the designs commissioned, we're gonna be dropping that merch store immediately, so that's gonna be incredible. I'm super, super, super pumped for that. And uh, it's gonna be amazing. You guys have suggested a lot of crazy awesome designs And if you guys want to uh, go ahead and drop suggestions down below for future designs like stuff You want to see on a shirt. I would absolutely love to hear them down below in the comment section But anyways, Elite Four Mia is gonna send in a Venomoth. Okay, we'll go for the wing attack easy peasy I'm sorry Venomoth, but you really do not stand a chance rest in peace. I mean listen man. I love your eyes, I love your ability, Venomoth is just such a cool Pokemon. Um, I actually used to use Venomoth a lot in competitive. I know he's not like the most competitively viable Pokemon in the world, but I had a really cool like Quiver Dance set, and I love shiny Venomoth, so 
That was super cool. But anyways, GG Venomoth. Now we're in the other underground tunnel. But where's this freaking flower shop? Like, I, I genuinely am so lost. I... I hate to make a jump cut to do this, but I think I might have to. I'll see you guys in a sec. 2,000 years later. Oh, shoot! <laughs> Woo! I just... I left to go get water, and... I, I, I guess we made it to the flower shop. Damn, that was much easier than I expected. Yeah, I have no idea how I missed that. But anyways, welcome back, my dudes. I am now hydrated. I don't know why I said hydrated so weird, but welcome back. We're going to go ahead and get the score bottle and then hydrate something else. All right, we're not just staying hydrated ourselves. We are hydrating the trees. Anyways, have plenty of water, my lovely. Yeah, don't mind if I do. Mm. Ah, give me a squirt bottle. What's up? What's up? Well, I told my sister about the jiggly trees. She told me it's dangerous. If I be Winnie, I wonder if she'll lend me her water bottle. Wait, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Wait. Yeah, okay. Thank you. Thank you, that's what I needed. I thought we were gonna have to go to a Whitney to get this bottle. I got scared. I got scared, man, because last time I asked her for something, she cried. Anyways, here we are. Let's go all the way back. <laughs> let's, uh, let's use the score bottle. And actually, what's really cool about Sudowoodo is this thing is gonna be considered a static encounter, which means that whatever we get, we can totally catch, as long as it, of course, correlates with one of the typings that we have on our team. So that's really exciting. Super pumped about that. And uh, this will be a high level like static encounter too. Like Cinder Widow is no joke. This man is buffed up. He is a thick tree. Also, I just want to throw out there that if this was actually a Cinder Widow, I would definitely, thousand percent, be killing it because it's the same uh, Pokemon that killed Murkrow. And I, I don't, I don't, I don't approve. Uh, Squawk, Squawk had many a life in, in front of him. He had ambitions. He had a goal. He was going to Harvard. And this Pseudo Widow right here, this one, this static wiggly tree is the one that stole that all away from him. So without further ado, it's a weird tree. Use Squirt Bottle. Yes, I will. Don't mind if I do. Ashford used the Squirt Bottle. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. The weird tree doesn't like the Squirt Bottle. The weird tree attacked. Oh, no. What a shocker. What a surprise. What are you going to give me? Oh, it's a cute little Weddy Paw. It's a cute little Weddy Paw. Now, is Weddy Paw part flying or is it just pure bug? Let me go ahead and check. Sorry for the uh, the mute in the game audio. I genuinely don't know. Uh, it's bug flying. So, we can indeed catch this and this would give us access to bug types. So, I, I'm, I'm a fan, man. Level 22. That's not bad. That's not bad. I'll definitely take that. We're going to go for the water gun real quick. Uh, I shouldn't be able to, to kill him or anything. I mean, this thing's four levels above us, and Mr. Big J doesn't exactly have the most powerful water gun in the world. I'm sorry to, to, to say that, Mr. Big J. But listen, he's still working on it, man. It's a work in progress. We're going to go into Dave, and I think we're just going to go for the bite. Because, oh, we're going to we're gonna get confused. Oh, wait. Shoot. I just went for a wing attack. Please hit yourself. Please hit yourself. I did not mean to go for a wing attack. I totally meant to go for a bite. No. No, don't kill it. Don't kill my boy. Oh my god. That was dumb. That was that was a total misclick. 100% total misclick. I, I totally intended to go for the bite. Because my whole thought process was, oh, bite's not going to kill him. I mean, he's level 20. He'll be fine. It's just a neutral attack. But, um, great. We got some, got some experience for it, at least. That was dumb. That was really really dumb but I think with that dumb mistake out of the way uh, I think we're gonna wrap this episode up here trainer tips what do we got use dig to return to the entrance of any place ah oh, shoot ah oh, shoot man uh, but you yeah, know I do have to keep this episode at kind of a reasonable time uh, route 37 yo it's a new route so we can start off the next episode with a brand new encounter but with that all being said uh, thank you guys so much for watching I do have to keep this episode to a reasonable length just because of the fact that I'm trying to get it up on the very same day that I'm recording it crossing my fingers it's gonna be a really, really close call but thank you guys so much for your support you guys are freaking beautiful hit that like button comment down below subscribe all the great kind of stuff and I will see you dudes in the next episode peace Is all the time.